Hi, I'm Dean Argent, a university qualified mechanical engineer. I'm a licensed motor dealer and the owner of usedvehiclesales.kiasportageforsale.com.au. And in this video, I am going to take you on a walkthrough of this 2013 model Kia Sportage automatic SUV, totally cool, that I got for sale right here on my yard. Now, when I buy these cars, the first thing I like to do is get down the side here like this and see the reflections in the paint. I'm not trying to show you how shiny it is. What I'm trying to show you is how many dents there aren't. So there's the first thing. There's not a single dent. Have a look across here. There is not a single stone chip. And the same up here, not a single dent. There's only two minor things wrong with this car, and I'm going to show you all about that in one sec. But um, they're so minor, they're hardly even worth raising, but I'd like to show you all that anyway. So as we move along, I'm going to show you. Look at this. This one and these two are a real thing that I like to check out. So what am I talking about? You see the dash mat inside there and this thing on here. I'm telling you, when someone buys a car and spends all the money to put those things on it, and they're all the Kia ones, so they're expensive, they're not some cheap ass brand, they really care about their car and they want it to preserve it. And you can see that throughout the condition of the entire vehicle. So this one's got the alloy wheels and it's got all this groovy stuff. It's got like window tinning, so you can video bomb yourself while you're videoing. It's got all this stuff, this power windows all in here and you can control the mirrors and stuff there they fold in and out very groovy it's got here's the key there's two keys and their remotes and all that sort of stuff look at the condition of these seats look like they've never been sat in but of course they have so radio is working i'll just turn that down with the steering wheel controller and um so you can look on here here's the i'll give her a start Beautiful. It's got the 102,000 Ks on the clock. Baby Ks for these cars. It's absolutely nothing. So, uh, have a look here. We've got the Bluetooth. And down there, it's got all the AUX and iPod and the USB. And you can do all that groovy stuff. It is automatic. It's got a Jesus handle here. So, if your driver's driving like a lunatic and you're freaking out, you can hang on and go, shit, stop it! <laughs> so, well, that's what happens at my place. My wife reckons I drive like a loon, but I don't. Anyhow, uh, we've got the aircon is icy cold, and here's all the things for where you can blow the air wherever you want to blow it. And there's that dash mat. They leave this bit out because there's an airbag in there for your safety and reliability. Now, we do have the cruise control going on on the steering wheel here, so you get up to the highway. You get on the highway, you set your speed, and the car just drives itself. You can't get in the back and make a coffee, you've got to steer it, but other than that, it does all that rest of it for you. You can answer your phone there if you've got it plugged in by the Bluetooth. They have thought of everything. So, um, there's a good look around in there. Let's keep moving. What are these little gadgets down here? Look at this. We've got burnout off. So if you want to do burnouts, you've got to push that button and turn it off. <laughs> and downhill traction control. So what this is really about is if you're in slippery conditions and you need to spin the wheels to like in snow or something, then that allows you to do that. See here, look also, got the Sportage mats. When they put that stuff in, I'm telling you, they cared a lot for their car. There's the mod, uh, the, um, the plate. You can see it's a May 13 model. Let's keep moving along. So what I did before was I pre-positioned that seat in the downward position just to show you that what you gotta do is pull that and bang, you've got yourself an instant shagging wagon if that's what you want. So let's go around the back. I'll open it up and show you. Um, down under there's the button. Up she goes. Look at all that space. You can hold a party in there. <laughs> so well, you can take this thing out. That just goes up here so you can lock her in. And then when you shut that, and any grubs looking in the car like this, they can't see your, gut, your goods in there. So if they can't see it, the bastards aren't likely to nick it. So you can just put that back there. If that thing's in your way, you just tug it out and throw it in the garden shed until you sell it. So uh, that's what most people do with them. She's got the full-size spare tyre. A lot of people often ask me about that sort of feature. And if you want to turn it out of a shag and wagon back into your luxury four, uh, your luxury five-seat sedan, you just push that back there. There's the condition of the back seats. Now, I did say before there was two minor things wrong with it, and there's one. There is some stitch coming off that seat there, and, well, that is what it is. So, uh, the other minor thing, while I'm talking about minor things, is it has got a dent there. Can you see it? Get back here. 
it's there. It's minor, but it's there. So um, it's a Sportage. It is registered. What else can I show you? Have a look down around here. Just having a good general look around. We can pop this seat back up to de-shag and wagon it. You can pull on that if you like, and up they go. Just hold that seat belt out of the way. And boom! Got yourself your sedan back or your SUV. So here's a quick look inside the passenger seat and if you look closely there's no scratch marks on that so the previous driver wasn't driving like the loon that we said before it was a very safe and sensible driver as you can tell by the condition of the motor vehicle so when the cars come into the yard there's a whole bunch of tests and stuff we do on them and in the next part of the video i'm going to show you three things i'm going to explain all the work that we do on these vehicles when they come in, in including this one and all the warranties and all that stuff I'm going to explain how all our fit prices are fixed because we can't take out what we put into them. And lastly, I'm going to show you everything that comes with the car for the price you see it advertised. Let's go. So when the cars come into the yard, we do six levels of inspection. The first one is we do a road test. We drive it around a very specific test track and we listen for all those noises and stuff that shouldn't be there. Then we do a yard test. And so in the yard test, what we're looking for is that everything works like it should, like the windows go up and down, the fan works, everything in the car is working like it should. And if it's not working, I will have mentioned it in the previous video. Then it goes into mechanical. The mechanic's got a quite an extensive checklist of things that he uh, inspects, things like is the spare tire there and is it fully inflated and all those sorts of things. All that stuff's done and that's what's covered off in mechanical. So that's the third level. On the fourth level, we do a roadworthy inspection. We get an independent mechanic who does his roadworthy inspections on the vehicles. He's licensed by Queensland Transport to come out or do them at his facility. Either way, it doesn't matter. But he does the inspections on them. He gets underneath every single car and he checks all the suspension components and all the things that are required for the roadworthy. So we have a properly done roadworthy certificate by an independent person come out as well. And then on the fifth level of check, we do a quality assurance or a QA run. What happens there is someone who hasn't driven the car and hasn't worked on it, he then goes and drives the car after it's been through mechanical. And he's basically doing a double check like what a buyer would do. They get in it and if there's a noise, they're like, ooh, what's that noise? Or stuff like that. He comes back if there's any of those things then we've identified them through the QA run. And what that does for you is it allows, well from, from my point of view, it allows me to know and stand there quite confidently and know that the car is prepared properly. And then on the sixth level of check, what we do is before the car goes out, um, well so after it's finished the QA, the cars then go out the front of the yard and you would have seen them in the background of the previous part of this video. Um, and they sit out there until they go out. Well, before they go out, we do another level, the sixth level of check, where we just check that the wipers are still working, that the uh, little sprayers haven't blocked up, that none of the bulbs haven't stopped working or any of that sort of stuff. So there's the six levels of inspection that we do on each one of the cars. Now, I don't expect you to believe me when I tell you I prepare the cars like that, but as you could tell from the previous video, we are on dirt. I do not have concrete, I don't have flags, I don't have salesmen ready to pounce on you when you come down. In fact, this is me pouncing on you now. So if you're still, hello, you there? Hello, come back so I can pounce on you some more. <laughs> so if you're still there, the reason I'm telling you this is because I don't have all that expensive shit, we don't have the overheads. And it allows me to put the money back into the cars. And that's why but I don't expect you to believe that either. But what you should do is go and have a look at our Facebook reviews and you'll see the vast majority of our buyers are more than delighted with their car because of the work we put into preparing the cars. So with, with that, we have buyers, they come from way up north, like up Cairns, way, way out west. They catch the train down, to, well, they catch the plane to Brisbane, they catch the train to our location here, and then they drive their car off. If they don't, if we don't prepare the cars properly and they fall apart on their way home, they don't get on Facebook and write good reviews. So that's why I'm proud of the level of all of the cars that I prepare. Although I muck around in these videos, what I don't compromise on is the quality and the standard that the cars are prepared to before they leave the yard. And that's reflected in our Facebook reviews. The link is included on this page. So go and have a look and see what the crowd says about working with us. 
So because of the work we put into the cars, all the prices are fixed. If you turn around and go, hey, Dean, are you negotiable? I'd be like, yes, I'm negotiable, but why would you want to pay more? <laughs> so I do that because, I, seriously, I can't take out what we put into those cars, and frankly, I don't want to. If the cars don't meet it, the standard, or they can't easily be brought up to that standard, I launch them off through an auction. And that's why you shouldn't buy cars from auctions, because that's where blokes like me dump our garbage. Okay, so this car has been through all the inspection and is come up properly and is prepared properly. So therefore, I have nowhere to move on the price. The prices are already good anyway, otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on and got this video. So the, price, so the prices are all fixed. And the last thing I want to tell you, before I tell you what comes with the car for the price you see it advertised, is that we need to make appointments to come out. Now we are not your typical yard, like I said before, we can't, we're not equipped for people just to roll up and walk out. You're more than welcome to come and check the cars out and take them for a spin, I've got no trouble with that. But you just need to let us know when you're coming. We've got a couple of guard dogs that roam around here and they, we put those away when people are coming and uh, that way no one gets bit. Everyone's happy. So you let us know when you're coming. We'll put the dogs away. We'll open up the gates and um, we can show you the car and you can have a look over that and any others that might work for you, whatever you want. So please make an appointment before you come out. So what comes with the car for the price you see it advertised for? Good question and I'm glad that you asked. So firstly, when the cars go through mechanical, one of the things we do is a fresh service. So your vehicle has been freshly serviced and you will not need to do any scheduled maintenance for the next 10,000 Ks or six months, whichever comes first. It's got guaranteed no money owing, guaranteed not stolen, guaranteed never written off. I'll show you all that on the paperwork when you come on down. And it's also got a current roadworthy certificate. So we have the independent inspector. He's got a license from the Queensland government and he's the one who says this car is in a roadworthy condition. So we've brought the car up to that standard as well. So it comes with the roadworthy. The car also, get this one, it has guaranteed no defects. So when I'm selling a car like this one, when I, if I make this guarantee to you, you'd want to make sure I'm onto it. Because if not, I'm going to back it with this guarantee. So it's got guaranteed no defects. A defect is when the car doesn't do, or a part of it doesn't do what it's meant to do. For example, if you go to wind down a window and the window doesn't wind down or it sort of half winds down, that's a friggin' defect. But if you've got like a tear in a seat or a noise, that's not a defect because a seat with a tear in it still does what it's meant to do. Okay, so I'm guaranteeing that this car has no defects and I also hold that guarantee for the next uh, 5,000 Ks in three months. So if it does incur a defect, and there are some exclusions to it, we show you all that on the paperwork anyway, then those issues become my problem and not your problem. So yes, we do trade-ins, and if you need help with your finance, there is a link up the top of this page that says, no deposit finance. You can put your details in there, and our finance guy will come back and he'll give you a quote on exactly how much it will cost you per week to drive away in this fine automobile. Well, I'm Dean. Thanks for watching this video. If there's anything I haven't covered, feel free to give us a call, drop us a text, or whatever you want to do. We can take payment by cash, by credit card, by internet transfer, bank check, however you want to do it. Best off if we do internet transfer. That one works best for us. Uh, but however you want to do it, it's entirely up to you. Well, I'm Dean. Thanks for watching the video. If there's anything I haven't covered, feel free to give us a call, drop us a text, and uh, I look forward to meeting you soon. See ya.